right, what's up y'all? We're out here at the ranch. About to put in some work on this slab right here. Get a little DIY skate park action happening. <laughs> if you watched my channel before, this is the slab I was talking about. Finally getting to put in some work today. I got Kate in here with me putting in the work. We're gonna sweep and then we're gonna clean up all these leaves and stuff hopefully. And we've got a ledge and a flat bar to put in today. So that's the plan for today. But as you can see, we've got our work cut out for us as of right now. Good job, mate. Yes, sir. Just trying to figure out where we're going to place this stuff so i think the flat bar is going to go here in between these two sections and then we're going to we're going to put the ledge in somewhere i thought about putting it up against the wall here which would be cool but i bought two pieces of angle iron so i don't be able to use one i could always put the other piece on that wall right there eventually but um that might be an option i'm going to test it out although it looks really cool um kaden raised a good point it's not wide enough so you could get thrown off by the wall and I would hate to like try to skate the ledge and then you end up falling on top of this shit here into the bushes here spiky stuff tetanus so we're probably going to move it but I feel like the flat bar is in a good spot right you know here I think though, so the flat bar is in a decent spot but I do feel like so the flat bar obviously I think it needs there's more the the ceiling for perfection is higher on a flat bar and I feel yeah. like the ground over here is maybe a little better better so maybe what we can do is we can move the flat bar here Far enough, obviously, that Off the, the wall doesn't mess you. Yeah. And we put that sort of over here where the flat bar was going to be. Yeah, we just got to try to place it in a spot because the the ground here is a bit unlevel. We got to place it on a flat spot. So maybe spot. maybe this section here. Right here. Yeah, this section right here. And just Rx the car. Yeah, just bondo it. I feel like that should work. <laughs> Sean's, uh, you know, when duty calls. Out in the out in the wilderness here, you gotta do what you gotta do. I told him I said, "Hey, bro, you got toilet paper?" He said, "No, but I got these, and they're like Meguiar's, like tire shining wipes and like interior car wipes." <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna put the ledge here, right here. Um, it is up against that crack, so we'll build Bondo there eventually, but it's not the worst. Rail's gonna be over there. Eventually a quarter pipe here, roll in, hit the ledge, hit the rail. Maybe another bit of transition at the end there. And maybe a ledge against the wall, a pole jam somewhere, I don't know. I like this spot because it is quite tight too, so everything's mellow. I wanted it to be fun for everybody. <laughs> to the angle iron. Yep. Now we're cutting it. This is my least favorite part of the whole operation. <laughs> is it loud? No, it's just annoying.
full send. Did I not tighten it or nothing? I don't think I did. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, at the very least, yeah. what you can do is you can glue it on, come back when it's nice yeah, and... I think I just didn't tension this correctly, or did I break it? I think you broke it, my guy. No, I just, hang on. I didn't, I didn't set the tension on it like I should've. Back in action. This right. is why this was five bucks. We just glue it and cut I it. I say glue it. it. I say glue it and cut it later. Full sand. Fucking Stanley. Home Depot. Fuck you. Dude. Don't even bother. Living the dream. Yeah, let's fuck this up, eh? All right. After that failed attempt, we're just gonna glue it down. Hopefully, someone's got an angle grinder they can bring up tomorrow or a better hacksaw. Someone that can help us out here. Yeah, we can cut this. Get it down. So let's just glue it down and then put the bricks down and get the rail set in. I've had these cunts fall off before though, which isn't the worst thing. You can always glue it back down, but we do have extra bricks to place in here. Don't think we don't know how to glue it up. And yes, sir. Grab one of these bastards over here. There's a spare one down there too, I just seen. We just put it on top. And we do the other side. It's almost nearly over. Yep. And it hasn't it hadn't been that bad. I mean we had some really fucking hot days, but it wasn't like uh Not the worst. Yeah. It wasn't like a fucking humid summer. Like an East Coast summer or some shit. Fall is fun. Winter is a bit lame because uh, you can only skate for uh, so long during the day. It's alright, bro. I take cool weather anytime. Yeah. I want to go snowboarding this year. Yeah, me too. The amount of money I spent buying tools for this and everything. I could have bought a snowboard. <laughs> a new snowboard. And boots. Do you see the sacrifices I make for you guys? Emptying out my own pockets for content. So you better watch the video. <laughs> Give us money. Uh, now get the rail situated paint it drill it down get the fuck out of here get some lunch so the last diy which was a slab we had a black rail i figured it'd be cool if we did a chrome rail so caden's going to paint up this rail for us chrome and then we're going to install it then we're going to get out of dodge get some lunch lifting you know what it's really sad is that this is hollow and kind of light but for me it's like <laughs> all righty all right so just give it a shake and you want to do a uh, oh you want to do a, a sweeping motion like that try to do it in two coats it doesn't have to be perfect yeah but take your finger off the t like each each time you come up you gotta oh i see i see yeah yeah you got it yep exactly Got it. There you go. Right it's going to be the Robocop rail. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. Yeah. Mm mm mm. Looking quite tasty. Chrome. Boom, look at that. Let's give it a couple more. 
yeah, another chrome hit. Let that dry, drill the holes, chuck her in. Should be good as gold. Oh. Let's see how that is. My masonry bit that I bought from Home Depot, my hammer drill, Ryobi. Let's hope that it works because I'm going to be pissed if this doesn't get me through, you know? Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm sure it will be. How do, what do you guys think of the hat, you know? Woo, yeehaw! I feel like a cowboy. Look at that. Whew. Yes, ma'am. Put my hat on in that when I go in to the saloon and dip my hat like that. <laughs> saloon. All right, so day two out here at the ranch. I just moved all the shit off the ledge. It's still here, it's still intact. First order of business here today. I'm gonna cut the existing angle off the ledge here. So I gotta get the ends trimmed up. I think I figured out the hack, so I just had to tension it correctly. So I gotta get that done, and then I have to screw the flat bar in. I, I did buy a skinnier masonry bit from the Home Depot just to be able to put a pilot hole in first. I'm up here solo dolo today as well. Everyone was busy, so I'm here. I'm gonna put in the work, the show must go on. I feel like the man from Snowy River. You know, if you're an Australian, you would have heard of the bloke from the Snowy River, especially if you've been down to the the snow there at Jindabyne. My inner Los Angeles has come out and I've managed to build myself a little bit of shade with a bit of plywood. <laughs> hey, look at that. Not bad, huh? I even got a little, what do you call it? Bench thing you put at the end of the bed, ottoman. Got a little ottoman here in the shade I've built. And uh, yeah, it's our shade for today. So yeah, it's starting to come together here. Once I get the rail in, I'll be able to wax it up. I brought my oxy in case the metal needs to be heated up before you wax it, so it'll go. But uh, yeah, so far so good, guys. Ledge is all done. This is probably one of the better ones I've built, even though the ones I've built in the past have been exactly the same as this, but this one just looks a lot cleaner, you know? Check it out. Got the ends all buttoned up. Um, I mean, eventually we could bondo these cracks here if they really annoy anyone that much, but I feel like you can just roll straight over it. But there's some parts of this slab that needs to be bondoed, like this section here. If we ever do put any transition down the end here, we'll need to patch this up just so you can go this way and hit the ledge. But I think I'm going to start putting in some work on the rail so I can get that all done. It's hot out as usual. We're coming to the end of summer, which is bittersweet because summer in california is awesome but it's just really hot to skate so autumn is coming up next or fall is what these americans call it fall the days become shorter then winter comes around awesome for skateboarding during the day but the sun it's like pitch black at like 5 p.m managed to get the holes drilled they're a little off the drill does drift when you are drilling but uh i think i can make it work so let's hope these redheads fit we can get this all bolted down and buttoned up so frustrated right now not once has installing a rail ever been easy for me it's always been a headache like this from just not drilling the holes correctly to buying the wrong size diner bolts or redheads as you guys call them or it just never comes easy. I'm stuck right now. I'm stuck and it's like halfway done. So the bolts are going in sideways. It's stuck. I can't get them out. I can't screw them off. The rail's stuck in the ground like that for right now till I figure something out. I've had enough. Got the rail out. Had to use the hacksaw to cut the diner bolts. I'm bleeding. I'm sweating. I'm getting burnt in the sun. I'm over it. Rail's out. There's some dirty looking diner bolts sticking out the ground. This is where I'm at right now. Dino bolts are stuck in there and here. I've got the ledge covered up. I haven't even skated this fucking place yet and I've got to go, I'm, I'm fucking over it. It's really blood, sweat and tears that goes into these spots, you know? I'm so pissed right now, but I'm just gonna leave it. Hopefully the ledge is okay until next time we come up here. I don't know when that'll be, but yeah, it sucks. On your way back, bring me